Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Marta here and I hope you are doing great. And I'm glad you joined me for today's crafting session. I'm delighted that you decided to spend some time with me. Your afternoon, maybe your evening, maybe we are together cuddled in bed under the duvet because in your part of country it's cold or maybe you are in the garden enjoying the sun and watching this tutorial. This video is going to be a little, little different. As you can tell, I have two exactly the same canvases on my desk exactly the same embellishments, metal embellishments as well, and that's not accident. Are you afraid of mixed media? Tell me honestly. Maybe you are intimidated a little bit by the word itself. You're not too sure where to start, how to begin, and why your mixed media pieces don't look like others. Although I always say, please do not compare yourself to others, but you're looking at your projects and you're thinking, mm, something is not right. What am I doing wrong? Exactly. I'm going to make two canvases and they are going to be exactly the same yet very different, I hope. I'm going to try to make the proper canvas and not so much pretty canvas. Here I'm going to show you uh, how maybe others are doing and maybe why I wouldn't do it. And here I'm going to show you what I love and how I like. So I'm going to try to make one positive, one negative. I'm not even sure how to call it, but I'm going to try to show you uh, why this canvas will be appealing to your eyes as a viewer and why this one is not. So I'm gonna show you tips and tricks and maybe some kind of ideas, hacks and just the way things could be nicer to maybe improve your art. Without any further ado, I hope you will stay and join me. I really hope you will find it inspirational because this video came to my mind only recently and I thought this is it. Let's just show them the difference because just because I'm making a pretty piece, what about if I what if I don't exactly explain? Maybe if I'll show it, uh, you know, next to it, how not to do or how I wouldn't do it because everyone's art is different. And please do not ever compare yourself to others. But maybe you like to hear my opinion the way I see it. <laughs> Let's uh, not chat anymore. Let's just start act. Uh, uh, arting together. I will start adding some texture. This will give some dimension, extra interest to my project and to do so I will use the stencils. I'm really happy and proud to share it, uh, my stencils with you. Today I'm recording that and uh, that's not yet in the shop but while you're watching it it's probably everything in the shop. Uh, new stencils, new papers, more papers, stickers and all. So please have a look, check it out. Uh, there are really beautiful things in the shop Start uh, added there. So let me show you just two out of over 15, 20 uh, stencils. Uh, these are very own mine, very mine. <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm so proud to show it to you. So today we're gonna use them, why not? Uh, I love, love, love those designs. Um, I'm, I, I'm just thinking which to use first, uh, maybe not even first, but which to use in general. But I think this or this. Which one? Which one you love? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm I'm wondering which would look better. But I think. Oh wow! I don't know. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use both. <laughs> Simply as that. And in the meantime as well, I'm gonna uh, open up those two little canvases that I have here. And those also are gonna be added to my project. Also, as you can see, I have some cassettes. Why not? So basically, as I said, I'm gonna try to make on the left project that I normally would go for, normally would do. That's the way I would do. And on the right, I'm gonna do kind of how I don't feel is right or how I feel it could just be not okay, you know, so yeah. Um, well, that's at least the idea. We will see if this will actually be good. Now, I'm thinking to add maybe uh, stenciling here and here and on the bigger canvases the other stencil. How is that? I think that this could this could work. So you can use uh, modeling paste, texture paste, whatever paste you have to create texture. Um, I have actually um, just so that is quite thick so I'm gonna use that. Um, actually, <laughs> oops, ah, don't move. Okay, now I keep on forgetting so I'm gonna swap. This would be my my good side, 
my perfect side here so I'm gonna swap and how sometimes maybe people are doing let's say sometimes maybe not enough uh, pressure and it's very delicate like like a little bit oh there we go maybe so then if we start adding elements and texture and trying to highlight everything maybe it will be not that visible as we wish so let's say that this let's call it that's our first mistake well not mistake how can I say it uh, things that that are done differently to what I would do I'm gonna scrape up scrape out some of excess and let's put this aside a little bit so this one is the good one again <laughs> this one is the good one let's say uh -huh. so I will add a generous amount for sure and maybe what I would do pick it up and swap the sides I love the designs swap the sides and try to make sure that we manage to do it here okay voila perfect loving it how differently wrongly we could do here what's the common maybe mistake that people do hmm um, I know what else I could actually do it here which is I could add some texture here on the side and even more here mm -hmm. and even let's see if it's ever possible to do something here why not and here. Why am I doing that? It's because I'm trying to make all of the canvas being used which here what we will do is we will just place it like here and scrape the excess. That's how the stencil is. Maybe not enough and okay. I hope you can see the difference between this side and this side. Let me wash the stencils make sure that you will wash your stencils right away because especially with the very tiny designs like that if you keep them keep the paste for too long it will be hard to scrape it off so right away I always wash it in the sink so what's the next step I hope you can see the difference we have very little modeling paste and a lot of here nice everywhere so my next idea next step would be to attach my canvas my tiny canvas to my bigger canvas and to do so I'm gonna use her gel medium gel medium a generous amount of gel medium going here and there and everywhere and thinking hmm, how I'm gonna place it how I'm gonna place it where well I think I'm gonna stick with the in the middle idea so that way now I didn't dry the modeling paste at all this is all the way as it is uh, didn't dry it so it's nicely kind of sinks in I guess and now look what happens on this side when we start adding modeling paste um, sorry gel medium our gl glue if you don't have gel medium you can use hot glue gun you can use the um, you can use mod podge but you may you may change the idea of actually <laughs> having this falling apart so gel medium is your way to go so now when we will add this here same way since we're trying to do same way you can see how very little things we have right now our texture is only here nothing is here uh, nothing really on the side we put the canvas just exactly in the middle because we wanted our composition to be built in the middle and that way we are we lost the whole stenciling design that we built oh well that's how it, we did it that's fine now start let's start to st see if we will add the cassette uh, but I think yes, I think we will add the cassette, maybe like this. Okay, I like that idea. I like that idea. I haven't played with the cassette for ages. Uh, I remember my project with cassettes uh, years ago. I mean, really a long time ago and I love them so much. So, so much. Now, so we can add it here we can actually maybe stick it a little bit on the side so it will be like nicely you know sticking out there and we do quite opposite here which I think uh, it's the design is losing out because because I'll show you you could certainly keep it more 
outside and have more interest but that's okay now yet again we are kind of <laughs> taking away our from the project our design that we had on that canvas like here you have all the bits and pieces and you can still see the gorgeous texture that it's there and nothing is nearly left there that's okay that's the idea that's the whole point now what's next uh, to be honest I only put uh, the same products uh, next to each other I, I just want to make sure I have the, exactly the same on both sides but I haven't planned at all what kind of composition project it's gonna be so <laughs> uh, I'm gonna improvise here purely improvise here and I'll see if it's nice if you know if it's okay now I think I find a lot of times that um, some crafters kind of don't put things on top of each other and they are putting things like this and I think that's that's one of the common yet again I wouldn't like to say mistake but common um, common mm, procedure <laughs> common procedure common thing to be done uh, and I think for pe it's more appealing to the eye <clears throat> if we are actually building our layers on top of layers and the whole mixed media piece just looks better I hope I'm, I'll be able to show it to you right now I wonder if I'll actually no, I'll do it here as I planned but you know, I'm gonna just right away pl uh, play since I'm doing two projects uh, you see the the modeling paste is still wet and that's fine because uh, it, it kind of nicely sinks in together so I'm adding a generous amount uh, those metals are heavy you can find them in my shop uh, marimismallart.com uh, so please links are at the end of the video always description box and all so let's play exactly the same way at least let's start or differently let's just swap and do it maybe like that, why not? Oops, a bit too much went there, but that's okay. I will just clean it off. Or maybe no, maybe I'm gonna leave it. Wow, somehow I feel this is purely straight and somehow I feel this is not. And maybe that's due to this cassette, okay. And, hmm, very strange. No, I'm, I will clean it. I will clean it. <laughs> okay, so that's what we have right now. What could be next? Um, one thing as well important is that uh, sometimes it's you forget that uh, you the best way is to actually use the biggest embellishments first, then the smallest. And yeah, so that's really what should be done. Which here. To actually make uh, make it wrongly, I should probably play with some smaller embellishment maybe here. And then if I'll decide to play it with maybe this one, you can see that this one is not covered, which here you cover way too much, I guess. I hope that makes sense and I think I'm going to do it exactly like that. Because that way you will see exactly what I mean. Now this is my perspective, this is how I feel about it, but please, please, this is only a guidelines for you to maybe, you know, have similar feelings, but art is sub subjectional, sub, uh, you know, it's individual thing, so we all feel different, but I just wish to show you what I think. Now, here as well, instead of kind of going onward and outside, I, I stuck here so we are kind of limiting ourselves to the composition yet again and let's uh, now place uh, well if I have different uh, different uh, metals that's I hope you don't mind that because I just grabbed what I had around me so now my next step would be to actually maybe play with this one here I like that and then sadly we're gonna cover up the other one you know, and see what's gonna happen there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How I'm gonna do it actually? Oops. There we go. I'm gonna clean this off. And here as well. We don't need that much of gel medium. Okay. Clean it off, clean it off, that's fine. So I hope you can see that you're losing out in this moment a lot of your metal embellishment that it's just basically hidden. It's 
covered so now next thing that could be nice maybe here and maybe here as well I think so I think that would be nice so what I will do is oh that's a lot of gel medium I'm gonna just add some and here as well add some add some add some mm-hmm uh-huh now so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just place it kind of in the middle rather than jumping in and maybe place it oops place it kind of nicely on the side same way as the as the as the tape is now I hope you are okay with me kind of <laughs> Uh, I'm really trying to think for to making a point. So if I'm if I'm kind of not making sense while I'm talking, I hope you can understand why. I'm just trying really to make this making sense to you, which is not easy <laughs> in a way. I like that. I like that maybe. Mm -hmm. um, what else we could do, for example, we could have it maybe this here. And this here well I like that <laughs> composition as well but I think that's what I'm gonna do right now actually 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 I'm so excited about the launch of the new products oh, I'm so excited I'm beyond excited um, so yes I can't wait to show it to you, share it with you, to actually play with it, to really have fun. I still didn't have much fun with it because I didn't have time to be honest and I'm working ahead for you where I'm gonna put it so it wouldn't look that good. Maybe I'll just put it here. Oh yeah, that's what I should do. I just should be kind of yeah, so now you see the flow of this canvas goes here where the flow is heavy here, nothing happens here you know so yeah and you might think oh these two matches together but actually maybe they're not so great with each other um, same for this one maybe I put it there rather than here which I don't think this makes a much of a difference but yeah sure why not let's let's do it this way uh, and I'm gonna actually be on the side more so that's uh, okay and this one maybe I'll just do like this which I don't think it's nice I I don't fancy this way but let's just do it and even worse it looks like a nose in the middle of those circles of those eyes you know maybe I'm trying maybe I'm over exaggerating this but I'm trying to kind of prove you something that but composition even if we have amazing stuff can ruin things a, a little bit you know okay we have one more heavy do I have more of a these are different oh no these are different let me find some more okay I found some more of the same ones now what else we could do with it is this glue down no it's not Okay, but maybe we could have this like here, nice, and this here. I'm not sure if I make any sense today, but I hope I do. So yeah, let's glue this down. Let's glue this down. Yeah, I think they're back from um, <laughs> from walkies. So I'm going to try to kind of have it nicely on the side. I'm going to get rid of that excess. I, I don't know why I'm not fan of excess, uh, but that's what I'm thinking. Or differently, maybe I do it like that. Yeah, I do it like that. So you will see that uh, you have this gorgeous uh, elements. Oh, sorry, gorgeous elements, but you kind of losing out its potential, I think. Like its potential is the fact that it's like a frame and you can have it nicely, you know, but it losing its potential maybe. I think I'm gonna have to put Hannah to bed in a second, so I may come back to you. Uh, there we go. Let me clean my hands. No, I think they left. Maybe they just came for some hat or something. Okay, that's a little too much. Now, you see the potential of that, that it's nicely sticking out, and why not? And here, it's like, mm, okay. You know, it's okay. 
so now if we have let's say I could have this one here and then two more let's say small elements maybe like here one could be here if it's sticking out st if it's sticking at all and this one here too and here we can have it like maybe like uh, I don't know like here oops and here and maybe here is it mm, yeah so as you can see the composition flow goes here which here is kind of I don't know all over the place kind of no composition in a way so I'm gonna try to uh, finish that and show you what I mean that's way too much glue okay so there we go we can have that oh. and oftentimes uh, as I said the layering of embellishment is not happening which is extremely important if we try to do mixed media I think the, um, the, the making the you know the whole piece kind of nice and or maybe I'm gonna swap the idea and just maybe just do here like in the middle haha -ha. that's definitely not looking great that's okay now uh, I can glue it down this one uh huh. I didn't look even in the camera if we're sharp but I think we are sharp all the time okay so I'm gonna just nicely play here that's nice of course you have to be careful about the whole metal thing because it's like very delicate in places but it will glue down eventually okay super same for here we just need glue really on one side which is which is here hi 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 how are ya did you enjoy your walkies Hannah now and also so how many we used one two three one two three oh I didn't glue this one yet so which I will do now of course she wants to be near the studio she loves the studio as you can imagine so now what we have is we have our kind of floating here kind of <laughs> kind of floating um, how are we doing here I think we are doing not too bad now maybe next thing would be what would I do next if 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 I'll do this one how about making this one in the middle like here mm -hmm. and this could be looking great and this one could go uh-huh I don't know why is she crying I'm here sweetie I'm here uh, maybe here not so great isn't it hi I'm gonna co I, I'm coming to you right now two seconds sunny so I'm just gonna add this I'm gonna add this one where would I add it like here could be nice mm-hmm and they probably not the same or maybe I find the same ones I'll see probably not the same but similar and maybe where will I put it like here not so great really place to be chosen you know I don't think so but you know uh, what else we have similar maybe this one and this one okay I like that I love the tiny those tiny embellishments I have them in the store they knew uh, well they they knew for my store you probably seen them before but I think they are gorgeous now where we can add the the last one well maybe not the last one but um you see I'm walking around maybe even here I'm walking around and matching where could it look nice where could it look nice? so you can see I'm layering metal after metal after metal you know and that helps a lot 
and if I put it here, not so great I guess, not so great. And we nearly covered everywhere with the embellishments, maybe something like, hmm, something small would be nice as our final touch. Two, mo two more small and I think we will have enough, just enough. Um, this is nice here, why not? And maybe where will I add this one? Maybe, maybe, maybe here. You know, not so great, not so great. So last one and we can leave this for drying and I can... Would that be interesting to have it there at all or is it not so great? No, no, not so great. Maybe here. And the last one on this side. Poo poo. And maybe here. And then cabochons. Lastly, cabochons. I'm gonna stick on one cabochon, which could be nice, maybe here. Taking away a little bit from the design, but that's okay. And then. One more, more cabochon here, then the middle, I'm going to put it next to each other, pretty much. Glassy cabochon also are in the shop if you wish to see it, so feel free to have a look. I'll give you links, of course, to all of that. And seriously, last one goes to... I think here could be nice and on this side could be nice maybe here okay I think we can call that finished in terms of gluing down let's dry that I'm gonna put Hannah to sleep in the meantime and I'll see you in a minute I'm back to you after, you're not gonna believe it, probably would be three weeks, three, four weeks, this was waiting for me to finish off. I'm not even sure what was my last sentence, I'm not too sure what I was saying, but the idea here behind those two canvases is to show you uh, maybe the common mistakes that you may uh, be making, that you may wish to avoid, or maybe the, just to see how I see it, how I feel about mixed media, heavy canvases like that. So what would be my next step if I create a regular mixed media, beautiful highlighted uh, canvas? I'm going to cover everything with white gesso. This will be with gesso and this will be with white acrylic paint. So that's the difference. I think gesso is better, priming it better, but many times I've used acrylic paints, white acrylic paint as well, because I wanted to do budget project. I wanted to show that budget is good as well and possible to be done. But if we're talking about mistakes and possibles and how possibilities and how we can improve things and how can we do things better and make it even nicer, I think if we go for a proper tool which is white gesso, this one is thick, nice white gesso, you probably will get a better color, um, better, better color. Uh, visibility and just it will be easier to work with because gesso is basically our primer it is priming our project it is giving us this um, surface priming the surface before all the media works I'm gonna do the first uh, layer start off with the first layer leave it to dry naturally at least for now and I'm gonna move on to our other canvas and use white acrylic paint to that. I'm going on the edges as well, on the sides here and there, just a little bit, a bit on the canvas as well. Yeah, I'm not uh, <laughs> I'm not too sure if I mentioned about those stencils when I was recording that, because as I said this was ages ago, but they are already in store, <laughs> flying out the door. <laughs> So you may check the store, the online store, if you wish. Anyway, let me just move on to my to my other canvas. I'm gonna put this here, and let's see. I will need some maybe cardboard to some cardboard to lay the oh 
some paint out there we go let's see how it's that this one is actually crea box um, from marabou it's a good mixed media brand and i purchased that in little it's much more liquidish but look it works good it does the trick at least that how it looks for the first feel about it so let's see how it's gonna be covering that okay hannah is asleep Lucas is in the kitchen and Emily's out. Yeah, so they is always in Maremi's house, Maremi's headquarters. <laughs> headquarters. I, you know, I only realized what headquarters means only recently. How dumb sometimes we can be. Uh, or maybe the English, the fact that it's not my first language, maybe that's why. It kind of flowed in faster to fill this one with the white. Maybe it's because the liquid, the paint was more liquid. Is it cover better? It's hard to tell, isn't it? I'd say they equally, covered equally. So I'm gonna just try to, um, yeah, redo that slightly. Leave it to dry. Making, making sure we have it all covered everywhere on the sides as well on the sides and our canvas okay I don't think it's covering that well but you know because it's smudging all the time which this is drying faster let me dry this quickly a little bit My canvases are pretty much dry. I'm gonna leave this with the f one layer only and I'm gonna grab my my canvas and I'm gonna go with the layer number two basically. So this is what I would do and I think maybe sometimes the color, the coverage, the coloring may be difficult because you are not having everything colored too well. So I'm gonna leave the other canvas the way as it is right now. Now you can also use black gesso, did you know that? You can use black gesso and sometimes so I was asked what's the difference between black gesso and white gesso when it comes to coloring. So in different mediums, let's say like waxes, certain waxes depending on the sh shade and type of the wax, it will appear better on white gesso and or it will appear better on black gesso so that's the difference that's why why that's why people sometimes use base a black or base white I think I personally prefer the white one no not I think I know I prefer the base white one but again it is a personal thing really so see we're going with the layer number two yeah, this is cabochon is something it's not that easy to cover in general because it's non-porous surface, I think you you say that in English, so it's okay. I will highlight it later on. Okay. So this is pretty much dry already. <laughs> you see the difference now? I hope you can tell the difference easily. Uh-huh. <clears throat> okay. And let this dry and then we can move on to coloring part I wonder should I use sprays or should I use should I use paints let me think <laughs> back to you let me move this aside a little bit for now so I'm gonna have my towel my spraying towel that I love 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 okay and then let's bring those back and we can start coloring. Now, how are we gonna color it to show you the difference? So I grabbed some colors here. I have some pinkish, some reddish, and some white. So that would be my color scheme. I have some different whites. And what about here? We're gonna add the same colors here as well, but we also add green and teal, maybe yellow and blue, we'll see. I want you to see that sometimes too much of a color is a problem. Um, yeah. So let's try. I'm gonna keep. Oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's spraying back. I'm gonna keep my spraying to the sides so that some parts are gonna be still white, and that's what I really wish to achieve: is the white. 
it's the it's the white that I wish to make sure that I keep and now my darker color I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically just do it like that or if not that I will spray but I'm gonna be very oh gently with it so it won't go too much everywhere oh I like that mmm okay cool now I sprayed too much here so I'm gonna rescue it with some water or with some white oh, come on oh nice white is helping me now to even blend in more what I have created here and I love that as it is even now maybe a little bit of darker here slightly 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 <clears throat> I lost my pink a little bit so I'm gonna redo that I'm going back to the same spaces if you can tell the same really places spaces okay mm -hmm. I do feel that I need black let me just grab some black or gray I have some gray here so let's see oh nice there we go and I think this is pretty much it for me <laughs> the spray also is saying enough what's that that's some brown oh and we have a baby here now some white fall in there that's okay I lost my white that's fine so I clean that let me dry it I'm drying drying but I also tilt my canvas a little bit so I have my nice texture here on my stenciling part I have a lot of pigment here a lot of water so but that's okay let's leave this for for drying itself and let's move this slightly to the side oopsie so that I will have more space for this one so let's do similar thing so let's do let's start with pink then this <clears throat> then maybe this okay maybe this oh 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 yeah oh does it look familiar to you guys <laughs> we created some kind of mock now that's because of too much colors that's because of aiming directly to the canvas rather than on the kind of angle we did this rather than this we went spraying mad all, all of it not being mindful about how the colors will interact with each other you have to know that some colors do not match for example this browns pinks gray they all were happy together here we have uh, blue and yellow then we have brown pink another um, uh, purple or whatever we could go even more crazy and <laughs> there we go add this now some of you may say oh I love it of course as I said art is subjectual but if you want to achieve certain things you have to kind of follow certain steps so the composition here lays here heavily on that side here is all over the place the colors are mocky to even show you more like you what happens often is like I don't like it so you keep on spraying and it's even it's getting even worse I think and I remember I was doing that when I was starting I do remember actually that maybe I repeat that then we have the sprays the 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 second spray that the little dots happening here as well all over it so you see this is kind of the difference let's dry that as well <laughs> mm, one more thing to 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 help me to build and keep my white space I was playing with white spray as well which here I didn't use white spray I don't think it would make a difference to be honest uh, maybe it could be even worse because it will be more even color and being more mocky and you know so here the white was you know in my favor and it helped sorry it helped as well let's dry that it's nearly dry also when it's drying and we drying and we have so much pigment and waterish here of course the pigment is moving so it's 
it's even making more mock and more, you know, uh, more happening there. Now you may as well think that, oh, I, I think I need something else, I need something else, and you keep on adding this something else because you're thinking that, you know, you need something more. So you're adding more and you have secondary splashes again on everywhere because there is more and more secondary splashes and you're drawing that and you're playing again and you have just rainbow but not such a pretty rainbow <laughs> after all. And also uh, while I'm drawing now there's so much pigment under the elements, so much spray went there that it's splashing yet again because of the heat so you get another mixture of funny colors actually. <laughs> I also tilted it because there's so much pigment in there that you know you have to tilt it to get it out so the color mixture is yet again very strange. <laughs> I noticed one more thing as well, uh, sometimes adding so much sprays, keep on spraying it and keep on drying, spraying and drying, it makes I think the faster speedy, speeded, speeded process of drying makes the whole canvas sticky. Many times I heard that oh my canvas is so sticky, the, the colors are so sticky because I think that you nearly overcooked everything. I believe that it depends on the brand, it depends on the type of the sprays, but usually they work fairly similar. So I would suggest that sometimes even leaving things to dry naturally helps. Don't be too close to the to the canvas with your heat. Be from the distance, maybe wait a little bit. Adding so much of heat, so of color sometimes will lead to it because you're adding color on top of color on top of color, drying it in between, so everything is cooking basically and that's why it gets sticky, I think. Well, I know that because <laughs> I've done that when I started my first mixed media uh, canvases a few years back. Now that I remember, I kept on adding that color and color because I wanted that blend and then everything was just so shiny and sticky and I, I really didn't like it and I couldn't understand why things just don't look as I would love them to look and then I was keep on working even more on that. Does it ring the bell to you? So yeah, <laughs> let's finish the drying part and I'm gonna be back to you. One mistake I have to, I didn't actually tell you, it's because I forgot. Many times I hear that people are ad attaching all the elements with hot glue gun rather than gel medium and while you're drying heat, a lot of heat goes to your canvas, unfortunately your pieces are starting to move because hot glue gun will start to be hot again even though it's dried but with the heat you kind of reactive it again so that's when your pieces are start to be wobbly a little bit so that's why you use gel medium more than anything and Hannah is here as well so yes get ready <laughs> I need to dry that properly I'm back to you after a few hours it's actually 11 p.m. I didn't have a chance to record during the day but it's okay I hope you don't mind that uh, look everything is dry and it's very shiny can you see look at that very shiny and look at this canvas purely dry as well no shine, zero, it's a pure matte and I've done nothing except I left it to completely dry. So this is what I was saying to you about shyness, about stickiness, about too much pigment and actually in fact, oh, it's, it's still not dry, that's even better. And it's, it's uh, sticky a little bit, it's too much pigment there, so this is the difference between those two and how things are and you, see, you can see the color is really mucky okay so what would be our next step I hope you can see that better let's have a look once more without the towel so this is very shiny kind of sticky and also the first coat of acrylic paint probably made that shine too as you can see and this one is not so what's the next step if I if I'll to go and finish this one let me see. I would actually still add some darker elements, but you know, you don't have to. Let me grab some nice, nice, nice brush for dry gessoing. And the technique for dry gessoing, I can't find, oops, I can't find my favorite brush for dry gessoing. Mm. Where are you, brush? Wow, okay. <laughs> It's this, uh, oh, could be this one, okay. That's actually from Ranger. I love it for dry gessoing. So I'm adding a small amount of gesso on my 
brush and I'm going I'm trying to make sure that I don't have too much of it on my brush and I'm going with the flicking motion of my finger on of my sorry of my wrist I'm going into places and I know that um, gesso is water based so it does react I think my project is a little too bright so that's why it's not going to be that visible our standing out elements all of our um what's the word all of our raised areas but that's okay you know I, I I'm happy to have this project being so delicate as well not necessarily always do I have to have everything very contrasting looking quite opposites <clears throat> this could be nice and dreamy as you can see we have some tiny color on our lid because it's reactive as I said it's reacting and that's fine now so we can pretty much call this canvas done and dusted not much I had to do isn't it not much by the way I opened in the meantime <laughs> I opened a new account on Instagram uh, it's called Marimi Small Art Design and it's all about products about the new launch that happened and I hope to share your projects there if you use the product and inspirations with the products so if you feel like following it link will be at the end of this video of course there we go but it's nice if you can so that's what I did today let me show you I show you in a minute actually I don't have my phone here with me I thought I do but I don't that's okay okay now so what's the next step if I go for this project I think one of the mistake is let's go back to our acrylic white acrylic as well white acrylic paint so a touch of that and I think instead of doing a really delicate dry gessoing what happened is two seconds I'm trying to yet again <laughs> grab some nice nice brush and this would be nice so I think people are just grabbing the 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 pigment and just do like this and then what happens you see what happens is we are activating a lot of a lot of our pigment moving the color here and there look everything is moving of course it will always move tiny bit but the idea for good products to be used for example gesso that is our primer that is really small amount being used flicking mode of your hand to help it you know which I do here differently not the way as I would normally do so see it is just really bad so everything is reacting to our acrylic white paint and this is not how you should do it this canvas is totally how I wouldn't do now you would say to me oh because the colors were darker yes but also make sure that everything is fully dry make sure that you are not um, adding so much on your brush make sure that you clean your brush in the mint in the be in between as well sometimes it helps so yeah this is this is kind of how you shouldn't be doing things I'm not sure if I want to keep on <laughs> going uh, but I really hope you can see the idea of a different composition yes someone can say oh I love that composition yes it's not too bad it can be like that but certainly kind of weight and coloring here is all really matching which here I find it's all over the place so bad coloring you know mixing contaminating each other's and just just not so great I guess and uh, let's dry that and let's finish off with some um, some title maybe I'm trying to add something and from those papers from Art Technique collection from Maremi Small Art we have some gorgeous gorgeous 
gorgeous absolutely beautiful elements and I was thinking let's see I added the flower here I'm not too sure if I wanted it there but I think it looks cute and different flower there we have some leaves there as well they are nice and fabulous f um, delicate and kind of feminine we have this thing it's th these are like hogs but <laughs> kind of unique in their look I also have them cogs and those are all from paper hand drawn by me actually hand painted by me uh, cute and interesting let's see if I can do that and I was thinking don't stop until you are proud I don't think it's gonna make a difference this uh, this here with this canvas but I still will add this for you to remember don't stop until you are proud keep practicing guys keep trying keep never for n never give up you know it's not gonna be the the first project that will always be perfect no you have to try few times several times actually and eventually it will you know it will eventually be something that you are totally proud of oh, it doesn't want to stick what's going on here <laughs> what's going on here oh maybe it's too low okay I'm gonna add a little bit more then too little is it too little <laughs> possibly okay oh yeah so here it is paper die cut elements why not I think it's nice to try different things and joining paper craft with mixed media like that it's nice there we go little leaves and this flower you know I'm gonna just lift this gently and that's it because I like as it's placed maybe slightly higher there we go something along those lines and maybe dream what about dream nice I love that now I'm thinking to actually hmm this would be nice if somehow I could mm, I don't know make this higher or something <laughs> this is still wet uh, ha, ha, ha. let me think can I just keep it like that and then have it like this I can I suppose I can why not Marta why not okay so I'm gonna slightly cover the okay I love it slightly cover the the hole from the cassette no wait it has to be perfect lane <laughs> oh Marta 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 perfect line let's see there we go okay <laughs> I love it okay something like that so different and those stickers yet again are from Marami Small Art we have eight in a pack we have sticker called Magical Peter we have Soul we have You Are Strong and four more I'm gonna just quickly show you them I totally love them those are new stickers and everyone will find something for themselves for definite so please 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 check it out I love it perfect absolutely loving this so different I wow <laughs> okay do I need to add anything else no because I'm gonna take away from that which I don't want to do but I'm just trying to see if there's any room for improvement or for just do, doing something extra do you know I'm thinking to actually risk it in a way like this and just there we go now this is gonna be gorgeous and just add it so though this Cox it's not on his own really but he has a friend here there we go something like that that's nice okay lovely <laughs> and what about this one this could go there isn't it or even like that I think so no 
Wow. Okay. I think I'm gonna call this done and finished and dusted. And I totally love this dirty pink color. I love it. Love it. And this one. Oh well. I really hope, guys, that you understood something that this was a valuable lesson for you that uh, I showed you some points important elements of mixed media process I don't think there's any video like that uh, on YouTube I at least I haven't come across when someone actually made the correct one and the wrong one the, the two different ways and please please remember this is the way I feel the way I read mixed media the way I think it could be the way for you to, to learn something so I have a huge favor for you to ask please please do share this video with your friends so others can learn from it because many many starters beginners those who are just, just thinking of beginning the mixed media journey they really are confused they don't know where to start what products to use and the process could be actually overwhelming so I would love you to uh, comment down below of course let me know what you think was it actually helpful and if you have any other suggestions how to improve mixed media process please please let me know in the comments others are reading you are guys exchanging comments and reading so that's the best lesson um, I'm sure that we will find people who will say that this is pretty in, indeed probably I could make worse but sometimes it's <laughs> difficult when your brain operates you know the way to make it actually nice so it's hard to not make to things to make things not nice I really love this one I have to say the dream the big title really stand out and bring everything together makes this all all whole and I totally love it I I'm happy to using my products super cute to see them in the canvas actually how strange how different but I love it very delicate and what I like about it is that I didn't go for my usual dark edges which often happened and I hope that uh, one of the friends is often commenting saying that I the projects are too far I hope that the camera was a bit closer today and you were able to see all the details for the canvases so I'm gonna finish it that I'm gonna actually finish another video tonight maybe it's a night for videos because <laughs> I started it a few days ago as well art journaling you could see the sneak peek on my Instagram oh and I invite you for the other Instagram the the product Instagram for Marami's products sneak peeks are there your projects because I'm gonna show share your projects if you tag me in the in the projects uh, that you use the products from Marami Small Art uh, I'll be happy to share I'll be happy to mention so please 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 to do do me a favor and go and check them check it out also check the shop if you wish uh, is this it is this is it <laughs> I think so uh, so yes do's and don'ts about mixed media i hope it was helpful and fun at the same time and yeah till the next time i'm gonna wrap up at that because as always i'm chatty chatty chatting chatting so thank you so much i love you loads and i'll i'll see you soon bye happy crafting bye bye i just turned off the camera but i was thinking that it would be nice if you could let me know if this type of video is actually good maybe i should make this like a series again about do's and don'ts and examples of both from different um, from different projects I don't know art journaling collaging or something if it, or different canvas it would be great to know if this type of tutorial is actually you know good for you so yeah I love you bye bye bye